am very excited to be testing the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation. Finally. Hot on the trends as usual. I think everybody by now has tried this foundation, but I have always been a little bit unwilling, maybe too scared of paying the £28 price tag for it. Is it gonna be worth it? Do I wanna do I want to risk £28 on finding out? Well, recently I thought, stuff it, let's do it. Um, so is it worth £28? How did it go on? How did I get on with primers? How did it work with my other products? How did I apply it? Which method worked the best? All the burning questions answered if you carry on watching. Alrighty, let's get into it. So I'm very excited, I'm very excited. So I've brought you in nice and close. So you can see everything that's going on. Um, you can see all the lines, all the pores, all the um, hurtling towards 40 that we're doing. So just, just go with it, go with it, okay. So we are talking the Fenty Beauty uh, Pro Filter Soft Matte Foundation. I believe this is medium to full coverage, which is my favorite. Please do trial it on. The thicker, the fuller, the better for me, so that's great. The one thing I am though gonna go through the whole primer process because I think it's just, just as important as finding the right foundation for your skin. Obviously, I am no expert at all. This this is just these. This is this these! I can't speak! These are just tips and little bits and nuggets of information that I've found out over the years that may be of use. It doesn't matter if you've got the most perfect colour match for your skin, if it's just gonna separate or if it's gonna highlight dry bits or if it's gonna irritate your skin. It could be the best colour match in the world, but if it's not gonna work with your skin type, then there's no point. It's just gonna look not good and you're not gonna feel good and let's face it makeup is not i know i joke about full coverage but makeup is not it shouldn't be a mask to hide you it should be something that you enjoy it should be a way that you express yourself and it should be something to make you feel confident and make you feel powerful okay so talking primer and foundation so if your skin is dry, I would suggest that you stay away from um, a matte foundation. If you have got more of an oily complexion, you maybe want to stay away from water-based primers because uh, foundations because they're going to split and the oil's going to react with the water and it's just going to separate. Oil and water do not go together. We've learned this in school, people. Try and have a think about how your skin behaves most of the time. Sometimes we've got combination skins to deal with, sometimes like mine, it can be different things on different days and different times of the month. So maybe I have a couple of different types of foundation. Sometimes I use a matte foundation, sometimes I use a water-based foundation. It just depends what my skin's doing. Now, to go hand in hand with that, you need the right primer to go with that foundation because if your primer's not working, it's all just gonna be 10 times more difficult. So, as I am trying the Fenty Beauty foundation, this foundation is a water-based foundation. It's really important to understand what type of foundation you're working with so that you can then reverse engineer that and find out which primer you need to make it last longer and to make it go on a bit better. I know not to use an oil-based primer because it's a water-based foundation because obviously oil and water don't mix together. It will all separate, it will not go well, it will not look good and it's date night. Um, I don't actually know where I stand on that one with silicone-based primers. So if any of you know, and you can let me know in the comments, that would be amazing. If any of you don't know, but you can ask somebody maybe and let me know, that would be brilliant. So what I'm doing, I'm just going as safe as I can possibly go and I've just dug out a water-based primer as well and I've gone for the Revolution Hydrate Primer. So this should work absolutely fine with this foundation. So let's get cracking and hopefully everything will be absolutely fine. Let's start with the primer. If you're liking this eye look so far, by the way, um, this is going to be up on my channel. I don't know which video is going up first. I don't know if this one or 
the eye look is going up first so have a rummage on my channel um it's actually testing a sleek palette that they sent me in pr so um just yeah look for the sleek testing video if you're interested it's not quite finished yet but you know there we go hopefully you'll see the finished article at the end of this video if you survive that long thank you very much now i don't know where my brushes are bear with okay so i don't know at this stage whether to apply this foundation with um with this kind of foundation brush or whether to kind of stipple it in with this or whether to use a sponge um i do quite like to apply foundation with a brush and then go over it with a sponge just to get rid of any brush strokes if there are any so yeah i don't quite know what to do there yet so let's just have a look at the consistency of the foundation and we'll we'll go from there really <sighs> this is it this is this is either i'm actually quite nervous because this is either where i think right that's rubbish i'm not spending that amount of money on anything ever again i mean it's good but i can find stuff in the drugstore just as good or where i think jessica christmas this is so much better than the, than the drugstore and i then have never got any money ever again because i'm converted to high end and i really don't want to because i can't afford it okay let's go let's go you know what's on here we are a budget channel apart from today Ooh, ooh. okay i like that consistency yeah it's not runny at all see i was thinking it's going to be really runny because it's the water base but it's not okay right so i'm just gonna put a couple of pumps on there what do we think brush or sponge so i'll do one side of each and we'll see so um this is the kind of foundation brush i would normally use so let's go in with him and see what we think let's do brush on this side and sponge on this side oh my god um right okay oh my sponge is running them off Okay, so it's going on really nicely and I can't believe the amount that's just done off one one little dip into that situation there. See, when we tried it in the store, it was the perfect match, but now it looks a little bit too light. Although my face is a little bit red because I'm quite warm. Also, I feel like it is oxidising and settling down quite nicely, actually. <gasps> Look at that coverage. That's like a tiny little dip into that. Okay, as it's drained down as well. Oh my God, I'm really loving that finish. <gasps> Go with me, it's like a matte satin. Oh my God, I really like it. Oh no. Oh no, I really like it. Oh God. There's like no streakiness to it whatsoever. <gasps> Don't forget your ears when you're doing foundation, people. Don't forget your ears. Um, okay. Oh my God, I really love it. That's like, do you know what I'm noticing as well? It's not going, like I'm literally brushing into my hairline to blend it as I normally do. And I then would normally have to go around with wipes and like clean my hair. But it's not, I don't know, this is weird. It's like not sticking to my hair. That makes sense. Right, so two dips into here has done the whole side of my face, including my neck, including my ear. I've got no brush strokes. I've got no patchiness at all. And look at my forehead as well. Like I feel like the, yeah, now it's oxidized. Do you see what I mean? It's, you can't tell there's a big stripe. Maybe on my nose because I did sunburn it a little bit this week and it's a bit pink, but no, it's oxidised. Can you see what actually a really good match it is to my skin tone? Like, that's ridiculous. Look how good my skin looks! <gasps> I've not even got any, like, highlighter or anything on yet. <gasps> it's going to end up costing me a fortune. Right. Okay, so the other side, I'm going in with my Real Techniques sponge. Let's see. And I bet again, this would just boil down to your prefer <laughs> your preference.
you know, in terms of kind of how you want it to look when it's the finish you want. Well, um, so far, pretty much the same amount has done the same area. So I feel like the sponge hasn't kind of soaked it up a, a, a lot, you know, which when you're spending a lot on foundation, you don't really need your, pro your brushes to be stealing it all off you. It actually looks as well quite a bit paler through the viewfinder than it does in real life which is good um okay okay i feel like you can't really tell a difference between the sides i'm definitely not getting a difference in kind of the finish and how it's gone on my skin at all not one not one difference there in the slightest i think for me i will probably just go over everything with the brush just because I could get around my eyebrows and under my eye and kind of clean up that line a little better with the brush. So I'm just gonna go and do that. But again, it's personal preference, isn't it? And it depends. If I was kind of not doing a, a, a bold eye look and I was just going over my face, I would fine, just use the sponge, not a problem. Yeah, there's no brush streaks. There's no patchiness for on either side i know there's not going to be brush streaks on this side but i don't feel oh my god oh my god it dries down to such a nice finish it's not that i didn't want to like it i just i don't know i just didn't want there to be this much of a difference because where's it gonna end where's it gonna end i'm just gonna turn into a monster aren't i that's just never gonna have any money I already know as well, I'd already said if this was good that I was going to um, go and buy the primer and I want to try some of the kilowatt highlighters as well, so <laughs> watch that. Right, so I'm just going to go around and just go around those edges and um, yeah, I'll be back in a sec. Okay, so that is the whole face done. I'm not sure if this is coming across how it actually looks IRL because in my viewfinder it looks really pale. Um, whereas in real life, it's actually a really good colour match. Maybe I am just that pale. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think a little bit because I've got kind of dark eyes on as well. It's kind of maybe making it look a little bit pale. Um, but yeah, it doesn't look like that right in front of me in the mirror. Um, what I am loving is the finish of it. My God, I don't feel like I've got any foundation on whatsoever like on my skin it just feels like my skin i don't feel like i've got anything on um to touch it it just feels like my skin it doesn't feel like there's anything on there it doesn't even feel like there's anything on there that's dried do you know what i mean like sometimes your foundation will dry down and that's all lovely and you'll feel it and you think yep my foundation's dry because i can feel my foundation that is dry um this literally just feels like my skin okay so let's start piling products on top of it shall we so let's just go as i would normally then go and put the bronzer contour highlight the rest of it blusher um and let's see how it fares with all that and let's see if any of it separates let's see if things just blend into it nicely let's just see what happens because so far i am impressed Okay, so to start in my normal routine, I would go in with contour at this stage. So I'm just going to use my usual Revolution Contour Palette in Fair. Um, contour Application Brush would be amazing. Stop dinking! Start to get a little bit more dimension in my face. Okay, that's potentially gone on easier than it normally does <laughs> oh god yep i feel like that's actually all gone on a bit easier maybe that's definitely gone on easier i feel like though as well like whatever is going directly onto your skin i feel like should be good quality now that doesn't always equate to higher prices let's remember this look at that contour there's just no stripiness or anything <gasps> right if this right we all know my first love, my absolute beloved makeup brand is Revolution. So if Rihanna has just made it so that I love my Revolution products even more, 
then I just I'm just gonna I'm just gonna have to just explode on top because <gasps> I don't think I can love them anymore. <laughs> right, let's get on with the rest of it. Like this is weird. Is this what is this what a higher end foundation does? Like everything else is going on a lot easier. Okay. Okay. Right, bronzer. Time for bronzer. Let's warm the face back up again. So again, it's a revolution one. I'm just using the big ultra bronzer. Where is my favourite bronzer brush? Oh, favourite bronzer brush is the Spectrum. Is it the A01? Yeah, A01. This is my absolute favourite for bronzer because it's the perfect size to just go boink on my cheeks. So. So you stick this where the sun do shine. So wherever the light hits your face and wherever you would catch the sun on your face, this is where your bronzer goes. Now, for us Irish girls, you never tan. We just burn, peel, and then our milk bottle white again. Um, bronzer is a staple. Just look how, like, I can't get my head around just how evenly and how nicely everything's going on. I'm using the same products with the same brushes, but it's it's definitely going on differently. Like there is a difference in how it's helping my other products to perform. Like there is a difference. I can totally see and feel a difference. Check out Rihanna making me look better. She's so thoughtful. Blush now, and again, it's a revolution product. Um, so I'm gonna go in with my blush goddess palette, um, and I tend to sort of stick around here. I think I'm gonna just use him because I want to. And quite frankly, in makeup, that's the only rule you need. Dudes, this is a bit ridiculous. Like, I'm not a huge blusher girl, I just it, I don't really tend to get excited about blushes because they don't seem to stand out on me very well. Um, but they do give a, a, a bit of something, so don't use a lot. But that's even making me like blusher. Just look. It just looks like a healthy glow from my skin. Okay. Okay, I'm liking this. I'm really liking it. I think so. I really like it. I really, really like it. I really like it, I really like it, I really like it, I really like it, I really like it. Okay, I'm really excited now because I do loves me a lot of highlighter and um, I just got very excited for using my favourite highlighter on what is fast becoming my favourite foundation. Okay, okay. So I'm just going to use my Girl's Best Friend Diamond Highlighter. Oh my god, I really need to use the Fenty highlighters, don't I? I really need the Killer Watt highlighters. I did um, swatch one whilst I was in Harvey Nicks buying the um, foundation and oh my god. It was, it looked incredible so I can't wait to find one of those. Okay, so I'm just going to use a Spectrum fan brush and I'm going to go in with this. <laughs> I don't, I just think it's going to be too good. Okay, okay, we can do this, we can do this, where's my mirror? <sighs> we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Okay, we can do it, we can do it. Jesus, look at her. Oh, look at her. Oh, I love this highlighter so much. Like, I can't get over how well everything's going on. <gasps> everything's going on. Nothing's separating. Nothing's moving. Like, it's just doing it. <gasps> I mean, look at that, though, with its lovely, healthy sheen. And then, whoop I love it. Okay, so that's it for kind of my skin products at the moment. So let me just go and finish off the look. So let me go and put my lashes on, my liner, my mascara, my lip, and then we'll come back and we'll discuss my final thoughts. I bet you can guess, can't you? Okay, just wait, just wait, just wait. There we go. Final look, all complete. Done my face, finished my eyes. What do you think to the eyes? Um, this is actually another product I'm testing, so keep your eyes peeled for that one, pun intended. Um, right, so what do we think to this foundation for a start? Let's have a look. Okay, so as I said at the beginning, this foundation cost me 
28 of Margaret British pounds. Now to me, that was a slightly like vomit in the mouth inducing price tag. I will be honest. I did walk past it about 15 times. We did go into Harvey Nicks twice. Um, and I kind of did the whole, no, I can't, I can't, but I'm gonna think before I bought it. So it, it took, it was a bit of a decision. It was a real decision for me, was this. Um, okay, so we've got 32 mil, which is 1.08 fluid ounce of product for 28 pounds. Now then I've gone for shade 150, um, which I think as I look in the mirror is absolutely fine. I'm not sure what it's going to look like on here yet because in my viewfinder it did look a bit pale. However, it is the truest of true shade matches for me. Um, so do go and um, head to a stockist, I would suggest anyway, um, and go and get colour matched by one of the people that work there because that really helped me kind of be more sure of what I was spending all that money on. So is it worth it? Spend, speaking of all that money, is it worth it? Number one, I think the shade match has been brilliant. Number two, I feel like the product itself looks expensive, it feels expensive, it looks beautiful, it looks really nice on my collection, on my stand. Um, it feels really nice, it's, it feels good quality as well. I think there's nothing worse than if you've spent some coin on a product and it comes back and it's just flimsy or you think, what am I paying for? I haven't, I didn't expect to feel this strongly about it or see such a difference like i just thought it would just be nice and i'd say yeah i can see why people go for that one but yeah i think i'm a bit converted there rihanna so thanks she totally watches my channel by the way totally <laughs> why wouldn't you um so yeah a really leak up there we go verdict in a leak up right that's it from me and my uh fenty beauty foundation wear test first impressions video i will think of a better more flowy off the tongue title, don't worry, that's fine. Um, if you have enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up down there. Make sure you make sure you are. Make sure you are subscribed to Layla Land. The button is also down there, I believe. I don't really know. Um, why would you not? Why would you not? Um, we talk about beauty, we talk about skincare, we also talk about all sorts of shenanigans. Thank you very much. Uh, and it's free. So, why would you not? Also, I'm such a small channel, you don't even have to sit through adverts right now, so can't do much more for you, can I? Really? Also, do me a favour, leave us a comment and let me know what you're thinking of this entire look. Let me know if you like the foundation. Let me know um, if you use this foundation and what your thoughts are on it, because I'm always interested to hear other people's views and opinions. Um, so yeah, have an amazing day, whatever it is you do. Remember, I love you very much from here all the way around to the world and back to here again. I am off on date night now. I can't wait to go and see my man and smush his face because I love him. Um, so you enjoy the rest of your day, whatever it is you're doing thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time